hey, do you want to start a side business or do you want to start a business on the side while you're working a full-time job? I'm in the same boat as you. I work a full-time job as a videographer and I started a leather craft making, make wallets, journals, anything that really has to do with leather, I try to make it because I fell in love with the craft and I'm doing this on the side and hopefully through me trying to learn um, all these tactics of trying to grow my business, I can actually be able to grow it sustainably where I can do that full time. That's my goal at least. But while I'm doing that and I'm trying to learn these tips, um, I'm gonna try to share it with whoever is down to listen. I wanna share with you guys everything that I'm learning and what I'm doing to hopefully help you guys along the way. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over five tips that is helping me um, in my business and hopefully will help you aid in yours. Tip number one is just start. Create a deadline. Hold yourself accountable. The hardest part um, from people trying to start a side business, a lot of my friends have told me that they wanna start something too, but then they don't give themselves a deadline. Um, when I decided I wanna do this, I first gave myself a deadline of like maybe in February, then I pushed it off to maybe, maybe in March, right? Until I said, no, you know what? The first Saturday of March is when I'm going to launch. So when my friends start asking me, hey, when are you gonna launch your website? When are you gonna launch the store? I would tell them it's gonna be March 4th, that Saturday. That's when it's starting. So stay tuned for that. And although I wish I did have more time, I would have definitely been loved to use that time. It was me being able to just pick that deadline and sticking with it that actually allowed me to start and then start creating more things and more things. Cause I would spend every night like trying to perfect the website, changing little things. And that would stop me from trying to perfect other things like inventory and branding and marketing and all the other more important things in a business than the minute of trying to perfect the website. So number two, start sustainably. And what that means is don't start too big, right? Like, yes, you want your brand to blow up, you want your business to blow up, but it probably isn't gonna blow up. And honestly, you don't want it to blow up because if you know nothing about business, you're gonna just be stuck if it actually does build up, blow up, right? So start small, start sustainably. So start with a product, like for me, leather, I didn't overbuy in leather or I didn't even pre-make the items and I still don't pre-make the items. Um, whatever's on my store, I make to order. At the moment, because I'm just starting off, I'm small, I'm starting sustainably by putting what I can make, what I've, you know, I've made it, taking pictures of it, put it on my website, and now I'm just trying to advertise it and brand it so people can buy it, and then when they buy it, I make it for them. And that's on the website as well, saying that it's everything's made to order, it's gonna take a little bit longer because it's made to order, and that's the type of business I'm running at the moment. Um, it, it could fail, it could not, but that's what I'm doing to aid in that tip, which is starting sustainably. Another tip is don't let no sales stop you. So you're gonna have good months, you're gonna have bad months. You can have a really good month when you first start because maybe all your friends are supporting, your friends' friends are supporting, and then the next month you drop down a lot because everyone that you knew that was gonna buy already bought. So now you're stuck like, ah, oh, damn, I, I, my first month was my best month and now I'm not doing anything. That's business. You have good months, you have bad months. And it's being able to recognize what you can do to change that. Um, that's when you as a side business owner, right, needs to put in their creativity. Like for me, my side business is just leather work. I love making these leather crafts. It's really fun for me. It started off as a hobby and now I wanted to make some money from it so I made it into my side gig because that's who I am. I'm not gonna be uh, mad because people don't wanna buy it. I'm gonna say, okay, what can I do to make people wanna buy it? Like maybe the products I was offering aren't that good then, okay, what can I do to make them good? And then what can I do to offer it to people to, to show them like this is a good product? If someone's successful in this market and is selling a lot of it, then chances are you can too, but you just have to be able to break the mold and figure out what are they doing that you're not doing yet. And that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm not trying to copy or trying to be, um, you know, like a copycat or steal their tricks, but if someone's successful in the marketplace that you're in, then chances are you can too, but you just have to figure out how to break that mode and make yourself unique. So when that brings me up to my next part, it is what is your brand? Build your brand. And that's tip number four, right? Make a brand for what you're doing. Um, these tips, uh, if you've probably figured out, it's not like the side hustle that a lot of people try to push where, where it's like, um, drop shipping or Amazon, you know, wholesaling or I'm talking about making a side business as a brand. Like it's something that that is 
connected to you and you believe in, and it's your business, it's your brand, right? Like it's you and then whatever it is that you like, you're breeding into that brand. And for me, leather, this leather craft, um, it's my business, right? So me, I, how, who I am as a person, I'm putting it into this leather brand. And the messaging for this business is be adventurous and be yourself and let your things have stories. Like for me, leather, I, I find it so beautiful because when it has nicks, scratches, dents, it's just more story. I like adventuring, like going to mountains, national parks, and I try to breathe that into my leather craft. Like all my leather stuff that I use, it's all banged up, it's all scratched, and I try to breathe that into my brand that if your um, wallet is all banged up, scratched up, that's fine, it's leather, it's gonna last, it's gonna age, it's gonna have patina, it's gonna weather, and that's the point and the beauty of buying a leather product, and that's what I try to push. So that's my brand, and I wholeheartedly believe in my brand and that's what i try to breathe through my brand and that's what you should do too whatever it is that you're trying to do you're selling t-shirts you're selling cups you know believe in it what's the messaging behind that are you just selling a cup or you're selling a message like i'm not just selling a wallet i'm selling your story right tell your story buy a wallet go on an amazing adventure come back and have someone ask you like hey why do you have a scratch on that wallet and you could tell them about the time that you were you were hiking up half dome and you dropped your wallet and then it fell through a bush and then you had to go hike down this really steep little rock because you had to go retrieve your wallet because somehow it fell out right like that's what i want people to ask you about when they see your wallet and they're like it's a cool thing it's so banged up though you tell stories of why it's all banged up last tip tip number five that i'm constantly thinking about is don't be afraid to try new things. So I create leather, right? That's my shtick, that's my thing. But I'm not afraid to create new things. Like I have this shirt that is gonna come out soon. It's a merch line, the back. Right, so even though I sell leather, I'm still selling shirt merch because I'm trying to expand and try new things. Because I'm just started off doing this. You don't know where it's gonna go and where it's gonna aid. Maybe I end up liking designing shirts more. Who knows? But if you really want your business to be successful, you have to be able to try new things um, within reason, right? Like this is a merch for the leather brand and the design is a variation of my logo and then it says handcrafted leather goods. And that's just a way to like kind of branch out a little bit and then maybe later it's gonna have different designs, maybe completely unique designs. But I'm trying new things little by little and there's gonna be a lot of other things that I'm thinking and have in my mind, I just haven't been able to achieve it yet. It's fine, it just all takes time. But be able to try new things and expand where you can because the reason you got into this is so you can be creative, right? The reason I got into this was to flex my creativity and try to practice on it when I'm not doing my full-time thing where I can't necessarily put something that's on um, me into that work because there's so many hands you know, in that creativity pot. So in here, it's on me. Like I'm sitting on my desk, I'm creating things that I want. And if I wanna try something and it fails, cool, who's to blame me? Because I did it and who cares? Because who's holding me accountable? Myself. Try your side business because if you like doing it, chances are other people are gonna like it too. Because guess what? Humans aren't that complicated. If you like something, if you are into something, chances are someone else is gonna to be too. If you relate to someone, Chances are someone is gonna relate to you. People aren't all unlikable, at least, I mean, some people are, but for the most part, if someone likes you, you have friends, you have people that relate to you, you can tell this story of who you are, chances are people are gonna relate to you and gonna like the message you're getting across, but you have to be genuine, you have to be you, you have to do something that you actually believe in, right? Don't just buy cups on Alibaba and then sell that because you wanna make a quick buck. Do something that you believe in and if you're doing it as a side thing, you have to do something you believe in because you're gonna do it after you're tired from work. You work eight to five every day and then from like six to like 11, 12, right? Working on this business. You don't wanna do something you hate. Like, yeah, money's good, but it's only gonna get you so far. You have to truly be passionate about what you're doing. But yeah, that's everything for me today. Thank you guys for sticking around. And hopefully if you are starting your side business or has started it, wish you nothing but good luck. And hope you guys check out my store, rocky.goods.com. Um, check out the Instagram. Everything's going to be linked below. Thank you guys again and wish nothing but the best for you guys. Peace.